Hi everyone, I have decided to create a new video series. In this series we will solve algorithmic questions with JavaScript. In this video we will solve three different algorithm questions. This will be palindrome, factorial, and finding the number of digits of a number. Let's start with the palindrome algorithm. Palindromes are sentences, words, and numbers that have the same reverse pronunciation. Let's look at some examples of palindrome numbers. Here are the examples of palindrome numbers. Let's look at palindrome words. We are going to test some of these. Let's get started. First, we create a variable called value. I will write my name here. Then we create a function called is palindrome. and give it a value as a parameter. Then we create a variable called reverse. We will use the split methods. Which breaks a text into parts and creates an array. Then we use the reverse methods. This method reverses the text, our goal is to test whether a word or a number is the same as the reverse. Finally, we use the join method. This method turns the string into a string. Now let's look at the reverse of our value. Is palindrome value the reverse pronunciation of my name is E T E M. This is not a palindrome. Now let's test it. If it's a reverse equal to value, it will return true. If it's not, it will return false. And console log. My name is not a palindrome words. Change the value to level. It's a level palindrome because it's a level reversal. Let's try 151. One five run is a palindrome. Now let's test try JavaScript. JavaScript is not a palindrome. It's that simple. You can test whether any word or any number you want is palindrome. Now let's move on to the other algorithm. We will make a factorial calculation. It's the number found by sorting and multiplying a number until it reaches the number 1 of all integers before that number with factor. For example, the factorial of 4 is 4 times 3 times 2 times 1, which is 24. Let's get started. First, we create a variable called value. Value is a 5. Then we create a variable called total. Total is a 1. Now, as you can imagine, we are going to create a for loop. The first value of the index will be 1. If 0, the result will be 0 and we will not get the desired result. At the end of each loop, the index will increase by 1 until it reaches the value we defined at the beginning. Index less than value and 
at the end of each loop, multiply the total value by the index. It's that simple, now let's test it. One hundred twenty, five times, four times, three times, two times, and one. It's correct. For example, value is a six. Yes, it's true. That's right. We have solved this algorithm. Now let's look at the last algorithm that we will solve in this video. Now we are going to figure out how many digits a number has, so I think this will be a very simple. First we create a variable called number. We will add a random number to this variable. Then we create a variable called total. Total is a zero. This variable will show how many digits the number has. Now let's do the math. While number is not equal to zero, number math number divided 10. The reason we use math floor is to convert the number to a base if the number is a decimal. And every time you divide the number by 10, add 1 to the total. Now let's test it. That's right. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Let's test another number. Okay, it's true. That's enough for today. We have solved three algorithms today. If you want this series to continue, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to my channel. See you soon.